previously on the Wild Yam. Today I'm up at the cabin. Uh, it's going to be our base camp this weekend as we're doing a winter overnighter. Here we go. A little Sherpa. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. If I get them on here, look at this, guys. They go all the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, Moultrie, don't fail me now. On your on the far side? I'd be okay. Here we go. Got it. No. Got to grab more firewood to, to dry out for the night. Good morning, guys. As you can see, we're getting a little bit of a light snow right now, which is just beautiful. Had a really good night. It was really nice and warm in my hammock set up there. I really appreciated the extra blankets that I had, the wool blanket and the, um, the sleeping bag temperature extender. That really made a difference and absolutely having that mat underneath my back was essential so that the cold wouldn't come up underneath my back. So I really enjoyed the night out here in the woods. I uh, woke up to the sound of coyotes around four in the morning. Uh, I guess they just made a kill and we're on their rendezvous. <clears throat> so yeah, that was really neat listening to that. Now we're just getting the fire started up again. It kind of died out overnight, but there were still some hot coals. So we've got it going again now and we're just gonna make some breakfast. So I'm just headed over here to grab our food pack, which we put in the tree. So the yellow birch you can see has this nice scaly yellow bark. Also a good fire starter. Bacon going. I got the Stanley pot here on the stove. Oh, yeah, look at that, guys. Bacon. Something over here. Or? I don't hear any. Ashy, ashy bacon. Mm -hmm. Bacon's gonna have that really nice smoky flavor. Well, and ashy too. All right, the bacon looks done, possibly a little overdone. Kind of reminds me of when Troy from 13 Prevail went in his overnighter and burnt the bacon. <laughs> Sorry, Troy. Bacon lovers unite. All right, you guys, check out 13 Prevail. He's got a great channel. Um, he's out in the East Coast, does a lot of uh, interesting things out in the wilderness as well. And uh, he also, when he went camping this winter, camped out in a Quincy. So if you want to see how to make one of those, definitely check out his channel. All right, let's uh, eat bacon. I think we're going to make a bacon sandwich. I also brought oatmeal in a bag. So I'm going to have oatmeal in a bag. <laughs> That'll be pretty tasty. Just making some boiled tea now. That looks good. It's going to be tasty, though, that smoke flavor in there. So I'm just enjoying my tea here, sitting by the fire, warming up. It's really tasty. I like these Stanley cups because they're really, um, really uh, insulated. So I can sit here and the tea doesn't get very cold. I like it because they mean I want it in hockey. <laughs> yes, the Stanley cup. The other Stanley cup. So I realized I never got back to you guys on sort of the gear we were bringing with us. From the video you can get the sense that we brought um, definitely some tarps, obviously to make the shelter, rope, paracord, Brought little heat of seats, food obviously, in that bag there. Brought some, you know, barbecue tongs, a couple of pots and cups and a pan obviously. Uh, took our snowshoes so we can get through the woods easily. Each of us brought a bunch of uh, clothes and I brought a second change of clothes, like pretty much everybody did, just in case uh, we got really wet and that was handy. Um, definitely I had to do a pants change because the cuffs got a little bit damp. I brought my little hammock here, which is awesome. Love this setup. And of course my sleeping bag, my little mat here, which was essential to kind of put between the bottom of the hammock and my back because that really helped prevent the cold from getting up at me. Also brought my Gerber knife and my Mora knife. 
fire steel matches and uh, a lighter just as backup and we also brought a little bit of lighter fluid too uh, as needed to kind of get things going a little bit as needed and of course water although we do have snow around here that we could melt uh, to to uh, to make uh, tea and things like that also our thermos full of hot water so that in the night you got cold you could uh, you know just have an easy way of getting nice hot nice hot water for a tea or something like that and one of the other things too I brought a hatchet a machete and a small handsaw which was helpful uh, for us forging around getting the wood flashlights are important too a few of us had the hats that had the the flashlight as well as I brought a giant <laughs> really uh, high powered flashlight to to look around and I think that's about it I'm probably forgetting something but uh, yeah everybody brought their you know sleeping bags and whatnot and things that they felt they would need and in terms of bringing something different next time I might bring uh, the felling axe you know to take down a bigger tree uh, I don't know what else yeah, hard to say what else I would bring, but uh, I was pretty happy with what I brought this time. So we're just going to take down camp here and head back to the cabin. Thanks so much guys for joining us on this camping adventure. As always, have a great week.